Riri, you slay us. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest Rihanna moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at the funniest Rihanna interviews, film roles, and pop culture moments to date. Number 10. Rihanna with a flask at the Grammys The 59th annual Grammy Awards were of particular importance to Rihanna, as she was nominated for a whopping eight awards, including Record of the Year. While she didn't manage to win in any category, she did manage to get her drink on. In style, we might add. During the ceremony, Rihanna could be seen sipping from a bedazzled flask. The Grammys are a notoriously dry event, with no alcohol allowed inside the theater. However, rules are made to be broken, and we can't exactly say we're shocked to discover that Rihanna was openly flaunting her alcohol consumption. Number 9. Rihanna in This Is The End Few cameos are as action-packed as this one. For the 2013 action comedy This Is The End, James Franco, Seth Rogen, Jonah Hill, and a number of other celebs played fictionalized versions of themselves, with the tie-in being that they're all attending a party at Franco's home. One of the celebrities in attendance is none other than Rihanna, and boy does she ever make the most of her screen time. Um, oh. That's not cool. Don't touch that my phone. Michael, that's not cool. <laughs> Jason, we're playing a game, man. With just a few short minutes to work with, the Barbados babe slaps a coked up Michael Sarah and sings a duet with Craig Robinson. Come on, Rihanna, take your panties off of me. Come on, Craig, can you for me. <laughs> before falling into a literal hellhole. <laughs> Fun fact, Rihanna agreed to let Sarah slap her butt if she could slap his face for real. So if you thought Sarah's reaction looked legit, that's because it was. Number 8. Her Moment on Ellen in a 2011 sit-down with Ellen DeGeneres, Rihanna discussed how her busy work schedule affects her personal life. The singer peeled back the curtain on her dating life as well, lamenting the fact that due to her status as the sexiest woman alive, as well as her hectic lifestyle, she has a lack of romantic prospects. I'm not necessarily happy being single. Um, it's not really that cool. Rihanna stated that being single sucks and that in the long run, having little to no personal life will have negative effects on her and her gesturing nonchalantly to her crotch. Um, which is not good, um, not for the long run, not for me, not for her. It's not, it's not fun. <laughs> the moment had Ellen and the crowd in stitches and forced the typically quick-witted host to go to commercial. Number 7. Rihanna Can't Stop Laughing at Voice Contestants Hiccup In 2015, Rihanna joined the cast of The Voice as a contestant mentor. You know? <laughs> Sorry. That's no, all good. Don't laugh at me. We got the hiccup. Come on. <laughs> Combining Rihanna with network TV is pure genius, as the indomitable singer is witty, intelligent, and extremely opinionated. Three qualities all TV personalities should possess. However, in this truly hilarious behind-the-scenes moment, Rihanna was none of the above. During a chat with Pharrell and contestant Mark Hood, Rihanna totally lost her composure after Hood hiccuped. Hood was embarrassed beyond belief at having hiccuped in front of the Grammy winner, who struggled to contain her laughter despite Hood's protests. Dude, I love you. No, I love you. Number 6. Rihanna Shows Alan Carr Some Dance Moves during a visit to English comedian Alan Carr's talk show, Rihanna found herself on the receiving end of a considerable amount of praise for her dancehall hit Rude Boy. Can you show me some proper dancehall moves? Can I show you Yeah, can you show me here? Despite loving the song, Carr admitted that he didn't know the dance moves and asked if Rihanna could give him a quick tutorial. <laughs> uh, I want to know the, the dutty wine. Watching Riri teach Carr how to dance is nothing short of side-splitting, as it quickly becomes clear that the host is um, not exactly the best dancer. Then again, we'd all look like uncoordinated fools next to a dancing queen like Rihanna. Number 5. Rihanna and Jim Parsons Press Tour Interviews there was no shortage of hilarious moments between home co-stars Jim Parsons and Rihanna while they were promoting the 2015 animated children's movie. 
On paper, these two celebs appear to be polar opposites. The straight-laced Parsons is 15 years Rihanna's senior and is best known for playing uber geek Sheldon Cooper on The Big Bang Theory. Whereas Rihanna is a trend-setting global pop superstar and former sexiest woman alive known for her provocative nature. And yet the two not only get along, they are awesome together. Have you found it difficult living in his shadow through all of this? That is not I nice. have had enough no. of, of being in his shadow. Has it? I am the superstar. Are you tired of it? I couldn't agree more. Watching the two of them debate the merits of watching Oprah, take selfies, and discuss their favorite childhood books will never get old. The fact that one of the funniest dudes in history, Steve Martin, is with them along the way is just really a bonus. Number 4. Her Dressing Room Essentials During a 2016 visit to her talk show, Rihanna once again managed to make Ellen bust a gut. Regular Cheetos, Hot Cheetos, Golden Grahams cereal, Oreos, <laughs> Cup of Noodles, Red and White Wine, Vodka, Soda, <laughs> Frappuccinos, Garlic Olives. This time, the giggles stemmed from Rihanna's writer, which includes regular Cheetos, Hot Cheetos, Oreos, Cup of Noodles, Red and White Wine, Vodka, and Garlic Olives. Are, you know, the big, like, the big puffy ones yeah. that melt in your mouth? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're still talking about Cheetos, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, so. The fact that the crowd can't get enough of Rihanna explaining all of the items on her rider is a testament to just how engaging the Barbados babe truly is. During the visit, Ellen and Rihanna also discussed karaoke, relationships, and the star's insane Instagram account. If we ever make it big, videos of Rihanna being hilarious will be the first thing we put on our rider. Number 3. Rihanna's 10-Minute Going Out Makeup Tutorial Want people to watch your YouTube videos? Just put the words Rihanna, Vogue, and Tutorial in the title, sit back, and watch the view counter soar. I can do my makeup in 10 minutes or 10 hours, it feels like. This 10-minute clip of Rihanna giving viewers a makeup tutorial currently boasts over 22 million views, and within 5 seconds, it's easy to understand why. Hi, that double chin. Rihanna is a natural in front of the camera, transitioning seamlessly from lovable goofball to dead serious makeup expert in the blink of an eye. Despite cracking jokes throughout, Rihanna still manages to look absolutely stunning by the end of the video. Come for the makeup advice? Stay for Rihanna's endlessly fun personality. Number 2. When She Pranked Jimmy Kimmel Notorious prankster Jimmy Kimmel got a taste of his own medicine when Rihanna teamed up with Kimmel's wife for a truly epic April Fool's Day prank. Kimmel's wife waited until her husband was fast asleep and then let Rihanna and a group of dancers into his bedroom. They then began blasting Bitch Better Have My Money while flashing lights and chucking money onto the stunt talk show host. As far as April Fool's pranks go, having Rihanna burst into your room in the middle of the night singing Bitch Better Have My Money ain't all that bad. I want my money, Jimmy. Do you know how much a private show like that costs in real life? Honestly, I think my favorite thing about Rihanna, other than Fenty Beauty, is how she really does not take herself too seriously, which means she is hilarious. All right, I'll give you a clue about number one. It is a newer moment from Riri, and it does actually involve Fenty. Any ideas? Let's see some hilarious honorable mentions, and then we shall see. Oh, that's a new one. They also, they also turned it into uh, a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but perhaps most delicious of all, a Ginster's beef slice. Uh, <laughs> that was delicious. Fashion has always been my defense mechanism. Even, even as a child, I, would, I remember thinking, she could beat me, but she cannot beat my outfit. Never have I ever seen a rapper naked. Totally have. Come on, stop lying. Stop lying, God. It's one time. It's the truth. Number one, Rihanna and Seth Meyers go day drinking. A recurring segment on Late Night with Seth Meyers involves the talk show host going day drinking with a family member or celebrity. In 2019, Meyers had the honor of knocking back a few adult beverages with Rihanna. And as you may have guessed, it was great. They kick things off with a shot, immediately followed by Myers chugging his entire beer. And then, uh, of course, a bunch of umbrellas. Things only get more debaucherously hilarious from that point on. You just did salt cooler than I'll ever do salt in my life. <laughs> Myers gets Rihanna to try a bunch of horribly concocted drinks, convinces her to play a drinking game, which she destroys him in. Dentist. 
kidding me? Dances in New York City. And then unleashes some truly lame pickup lines on her. I want to like blow my wife away with like a romantic night out. What do I do? You said it. What? Blow <laughs> <laughs> your wife. <laughs> The chemistry between these two is obvious, particularly when Rihanna helps Myers with his makeup. We cannot wait for Seth and Rihanna go day drinking part two. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.